intercessory prayer. Proclaiming Christ crucified. You are worthy, yes, you are to be praised. Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. Emmanuel, you are worthy to be praised. Praise your holy name. Our reading this morning, this afternoon, is from First Corinthians. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be on this planet. You are made in God's image, beautifully and wonderfully made. Genesis 1.27 says, God the Spirit makes them male and female in His image. We come before you, Almighty God, incarnated the Spirit in His Son, Jesus Christ, to be the atonement for our sins. Jesus, we thank you for your finished work in Calvary. John 19, 30 says, it is finished. You cried out. You fulfilled all the laws and freed us from the bondage of all laws. We are people of new covenant with you. We are believers of Christ Jesus, Emmanuel, Yeshua, the Messiah. You alone we worship, you alone we adore. When we have seen you, we have seen the Father, we have seen the Mother, we have seen our friend. You said to the woman at the well, Jacob's well, there comes a time we no longer Worship God in Jerusalem or on this mountain. And we worship God in truth and in spirit. So you are everywhere. Your spirit is everywhere. You are omnipotent, omnipresent, omnipresent God. Jesus, your name above all names. For those who are still unbelieving, I urge you this morning to come and proclaim Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. You cannot do it alone. And you are not righteous enough to go direct to the Almighty God. Your righteousness is like a filthy rag before the Almighty God and Maker. The Almighty God has incarnated the Spirit in the Son, Jesus Christ, should be the propitiation for our sins, the atonement for our sins, the penalty for our sins. Let us worship and reverence Christ Jesus, Yeshua Emmanuel. He alone is the Savior of the world. He alone is our Redeemer. Welcome to Jessila. Jesela means J E Jesus C Christ I is L Lord A Amen. So the acro acronym for Jesus Christ is Lord Amen is Jesela. This is the channel inspired by the Holy Spirit. Jesus wants us to worship Him. Jesus wants us to come. To him with all our burdens. Jesus died for the sins of the world. Our pastors, ourselves, and any other human being is no substitute for Christ. 
Jesus said, of all born of women, the greatest is John the Baptist. And yet John the Baptist is not the least of the heaven, of the angels in heaven. And Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And the word of God says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Praise God. If you are not fulfilled, if you don't know the meaning of why you are here, if you are still being thrown about like a shaft in the wind, come to Jesus. He will not die twice for you. The devil is a liar. The devil will toss you about and drop you as he has done with the Chinese government. But those who are in Christ, those who know their God will do exploits. And Christ has raised us for this purpose. And we are interceding for you. Our Lord and Savior Christ is our priest, our God, our Lord and Savior, our Redeemer, the hope of glory, the rose of Sharon, the Amen. Son of God, Son of Man, Son of Mary, begotten, not made. And he's calling you this morning. Tomorrow may be too late for you. Hear him, answer his call. He will not force you. God has given us free will. Where is your life? Where is your spirit going to rest for eternity? Are you still just following the crowd? Come to Jesus. He's a merciful God. Cry out to him. He does not want the death of a sinner, but for the sinner to repent and be forgiven. He says all sins can be forgiven except the sin against the Holy Spirit. And he warned us against the sin of betrayal. He said it was this time for the Son of Man to die, but woe betide that human being from whose sins the Son of Man will die or be betrayed. And we all know what happened to Judas. He committed suicide. So don't walk in iniquity. Iniquity keeps you away from Jesus. After he has given you salvation. After you have known the holy way. For you to deny the existence of God. For you to deny the existence of Christ. That would be a sin against the Holy Spirit. Because majority ask what is a sin against the Holy Spirit. And Christ has washed away your sins and shown you the power of resurrection. And for whatever reason, you regress and deny that power. That is a sin against the Holy Spirit. Christ does not want the death of a sinner, but for the sinner to repent. And this is the resurrective period. It is the resurrection of Christ that has given us believers power, his authority. Matthew 28, 18, 19 says, All authority has been given to me both in heaven and on earth. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations. Pray for the nation of China that they will renounce commun com communism. They will renounce evil and they will accept Christ. Allow those who are Christians amongst them to proclaim Jesus and worship Jesus openly and freely. Christianity is not a religion but a faith, a faith in Christ, our Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. In this channel, we always encourage you to pray 
before you read the Bible so that the Holy Spirit can minister to you what they want you to derive from the reading. Let us pray. Almighty God, everlasting Father, we thank you for Jesus. Jesus, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We come this afternoon here in UK, but there is no distance in the spirit realm. It is morning, it is evening as well. But we are one in Christ for all those who profess Jesus as Lord and personal Savior. Father, we pray this morning that anywhere we are is a holy ground for us. This world pandemic is not our portion in Jesus' name. Father, let us remember you at this resurrective time that we have the power and the authority. And for this purpose, you have raised us. And anywhere our seeds, our descendants are, Lord, we pray for your light to continue to be upon them. Let them continue to profess and proclaim you. Now we come to pray, Lord, for all those who are still outside the grace, because the word of God says, those who are outside your grace have condemned themselves. But there's no condemnation for us who are in Christ. Lord, we pray for those who are still outside the grace to come into the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we say in the name of Jesus, anywhere they are, Lord, those who are in the front lines, helping humanity. We can only serve you and please you, almighty God, with faith. And how do we serve you? We serve you by serving humanity. Jesus said, I will put some on the left and some on the right. Matthew 25. When the Son of Man comes in all his glory, you have some on the left and some on the right. And the ones on the right you will say, enter into the kingdom of your father. But when I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. When I was naked, you clothed me. And we will say, when did we do that, Lord? And you say, well, when you do it to any of this list of these brethren, you have done it to me. So, Lord, we can only serve you through serving humanity. Open our eyes, O oh Lord, that we may see in the spirit. Continue to open our ears that we continue to hear from the Spirit of God that is in us. Lord, we thank you for your resurrective power. We thank you for your presence in our lives. And we pray, Lord, that those who are still outside the graves, they will come to know you. We pray, Lord, that those who are unfulfilled in Christ, they put you on, they put you on Christ. And they say the prayer. They come to you, Lord. Open their tongue, open their mouth. At the mention of your name, Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that you are Lord. Let them come to you. We are praying that everyone who believes in you, who call themselves Christian, they will be able to pray. Pray for their needs. Pray that you meet them at their point of needs. That is our intercessory power this afternoon here. That everyone who is a Christian, who is a believer, will be able to pray a meaningful prayer to you. They'll be able to open their tongue and their mouth and profess you and proclaim you and ask because your word says in Matthew 7, 7, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and thou shalt find, knock on the door and it shall be opened. Father, let them seek for the kingdom of heaven, those who are still outside the grace. Let them seek for the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. And then they realize every other thing shall be added unto them. Every other good thing, Lord. You said the thought you have for us are not of evil, but of good. And we pray this afternoon here in the United Kingdom that your goodness continue to rest upon us, each and every one of us and our household. And, our, and you will continue to bless the work of our heart, the work of our hands. And you continue to bless our good thoughts. Father, cleanse us. We plead the blood of Jesus to remove any mountainous, any mountainous obstacles. Father, we pray that we continue to walk in the daylight with you. Because those who walk in the daylight will not stumble. We continue to walk in your righteousness daily. Holding us with your right, righteous sons, Lord. We know we are righteous. On our own, we are not righteous. We cannot do it without you, Jesus. We need you, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Help us. Let our faith be as little as a mustard seed. So we ask the mountain to move and it moves and casts into the river. 
The Lord have mercy upon us. Father, let us continue to walk in your light. Where we have fallen short of your glory, forgive us. Father, we are imperfect beings and you know that. But with you, holding our hands with your right righteous hands daily, we walk in righteousness and in light. Thank you, Lord. We praise your holy name. We beseech you, Lord, this morning, hear us. And everyone who will listen to this video, Father, we pray that the seed of faith will be planted and it will germinate. Father, we pray for all who are still atheists, who are still existentialists, who are still outside this grace, who do not proclaim Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior, that they will come and see the light. They will come and proclaim you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Those who are looking to have your gift, Holy Spirit, send your power, Lord. There will be no barrenness amongst our children. There will be no barrenness amongst our household. The word of God says to Adam and Eve, Go therefore and be fruitful and subdue. Lord, every human being you have created, male and female, you created them with control. We pray for those who are outside control, that they have lost your spirit. And we pray, Lord, that you arrest their soul and bring them back into the fold. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 And I, when I came to you, brothers, did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing amongst you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and much trembling. And my speech and my message were not impossible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit of, and of power, that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Our faith rests in the power of God, not in the wisdom of human beings. It is not your pastor, nor your reverend, nor your overseer, nor any human being for that matter, nor, your, nor any evangelist. It is not me who is speaking, the, but the word of God. It is Christ in me, the hope of glory. The wisdom of men is nothing. It's foolishness. Only Christ has the wisdom and power of God. Praise the Lord. And my speech and my message were not impossible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Wisdom from the Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 6. Wisdom from the Spirit. Yet among the mature, we do impart wisdom, although it is not a wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are doomed to pass away. Every leader, every human being is doomed to pass away. The only thing that will not pass away is the word of God. The only thing that will not pass away is the wisdom of God. The only thing that will not pass away is the power of God. But we might impart a secret and a hidden wisdom of God, which God decreed before the ages of our glory, 
none of the rulers of this age understood this. For if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what no eyes has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him. Praise God. These things God had revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depth of God. For who knows a person, who knows a person's thoughts, except the spirit of, the pers of that person, which is in him. So also, no one comprehends the thoughts of God, except the Spirit of God. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might miss, that we might understand the things freely given by God. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might understand the things freely given us by God and we impart this in words not taught by human wisdom but taught by spirit by the spirit Inter interpreting spiritual truth to those who are spiritual the natural person does not accept the things of the spirit of God for they are folly to him and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually dis discerned. The spiritual person judges all things, but is himself to be judged by no one. But who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Praise the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We thank you, Lord, for your word abided. We thank you, Lord, for your word. And we pray that every ear that hears it, we ponder upon it, we meditate on it, and they will proclaim Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior and start walking in the light. Walk away from sins and iniquity. And the flesh will decrease in them, and the spirit being of them will increase. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In your mighty name, we have worshipped, prayed. Amen.